Good day, mortals. It is Ipix here, and today we're playing Abandoned Ship. And it looks like I do not have enough time to explore the entire map today. Looks like the cult is already trying to catch me. Yep, they are filling in. What is that line? Ah! People go about their business unaware that their neighbor port was captured by the cult. You make your way to the Explorers Guild so you can gain information on the safe routes to landfall. On the way, you pass several of the other places of interest in the port. Ah, tutorial time. Uh, if you ever find yourself on the wrong side of the law, you can pay off fines in the Magistrate. Okay. I don't think I have zero bounty, so... This is the Apothecary. Uh, throughout your adventure, your crew may require the services of an apothecary. When your crew are incapacitated in combat, they will pick up a negative physical trait. These provide a modifier to how they, how that crew member performs. An apothecary can heal these ailments. In some events, your crew can become badly hurt. When this happens, they are unavailable to use in combat. You can revive them here. Let's check out the prison. I see. Sometimes things do not go your way and you may find yourself alone and low on money. I found myself in that exact situation a while ago, in desperate need of a crew to help you uh, help claw your way back to the top. In these instances, a prison is a way to replenish your crew at a very low cost. By paying their fine, you can have these criminals serve on your ship. They do, however, have negative mental traits that hamper their effectiveness. Uh, each criminal is unable to gain experience, so they will always stay at the same basic level. Uh, have over one of these to see that basic tricks. Uh, is this one's broken hand? No, stubborn convict. Right, you all have that. Fairweather Fiend. 20% reduction in navigation, reloading, and repairing. Uh, uh, when in melee combat with this rain. Huh? 20% reduction in navigation, reloading, repairing, and melee combat with rain. Okay, so whenever it's raining, you're not very good. Afraid of the dark? Well, that's okay. I'm afraid of the dark, too. What's this one? This one's broken hand. Right. Uh, afraid of monsters. 25 decreased percent damage against Halophon and other monsters. Hmm. Got it. Explorer's Guild. Uh, fire charts, you can fire your own charts, mapping out the local area in the Explorer's Guild. They will pay you a small reward uh, for this updated information. You can do this by uncovering the fog of war in the map where the port is located. Click on the highlight button to file your charts. Okay, so I get 37 gold. Nice. A banished ship auto saves your game continually. It will also save your game when you uh, quit via the pause menu when the option reads save and exit. Excellent. Death is permanent. When you die, your autosave will be deleted. However, if you obtain a captain's log, this will allow you to create a captain's log save. Dying with a captain's log save means that you will be able to load back to that last captain's log save and resume your adventure from there. We've just given you a captain's log. Use it now by clicking the Save Game button. Perfect. Captain's logs can be found in special golden shipwrecks accessible via the diving belt. You may occasionally find them via other means too. Be warned though, captain's logs are rare and finite. You must choose when to use them carefully, otherwise you risk losing a lot of progress. When you finish, the call port by doing that. Return to port. So we have a save now. Uh, on your way out, you speak with one of the officials asking for information on the safest paths to reach landfall. It's as well you asked, he said. Here, these routes should sh should allow you to avoid some of the hazards of the open sea. Your personal charts are now updated with the necessary details. You head back to the ship. Okay, I need to go south. The Great Library of Atlantfall. Uh, 
The Great Library at Landfall may help you to find answers. Go there and seek knowledge on how you can strike back at the cult. Okay, so the southern gate is where I need to go. But that has zero of eight, so I need to complete eight quests to get there. Hello? Why can't I move? Ah, there. So it's not too far. Right? Mm, pretty good. And your quests are shown on this menu. At the moment, you'll only have one active quest. Later, you will have many active quests at one time. You can click on uh, each quest to receive more information with it. When you're ready to close the journal by clicking either of the highlight buttons. All right, let's go. The highlighted area shows your wanted level. I see down there. Uh, throughout your nautical career, you may skirt either side of the law, repeatedly break it, and the consequences could become severe. Sea force will open fire on you. Bounty hunters could be dispatched to exact justice, or ports may deny you entry. There are chances for redemption, either by falling acts of piracy or paying off your deeds in ports or neutral floating outposts. By having over each skull, a tooltip will describe the consequences of each stage of being wanted. You can now raid trade routes. If you sail into the dotted line marked trade route, you can press the highlight button to raid it. I see. Doing so will accrue uh, gold over time, but will gradually increase your wanted level. Removing pirate or cult vessels from your raided yellow or blockaded red trade routes will reduce your wanted level. I see. So this is a raided. Ah, gotcha. The pirates don't seem to have noticed you yet. An audacious ploy occurs to you. It wouldn't take long to conceal your weapons. Sail on and they might mistake you for just one more trader. A new customer for their corrupt services. Uh, it would make for one hell of a lesson. Begin our disguise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It would make for one hell of a lesson. Do it. The pirates are clearly pre too preoccupied with the prospect of an easy new mark to suspect your ruse. They sidle up to your ship close enough for boarding. There couldn't be a more perfect time to spring your trap. Let's go. Come on. Oh, these are already ready to fire. Where are you guys going? Right, I will hit you, the captain. Let me see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I guess just keep firing? Actually, you know what? Captain, which is there? Come on. We'll hit there. Well, I'm gonna force your hand and you're gonna need to go over there. Focus fire there. And you hit the sails. I won't control this battle. Come on, come on, come on. They're almost down. Captain, get ready to fire. Bugger. Okay, but that shot wounded you. That killed you. Alright, this fight is vastly won. How much left to do? Keep, keep hammering away. Actually, you know what? Hit the boarding range. And I realized this after last time. Uh, we don't actually have to ram them in order to get into boarding range. Come on. 
Captain! Or there, you. Get that one. You, up there. And hell, you two just join in there. We've taken the ship. Ultimately, your crazy plan worked. The pirates have been destroyed and the trade will flow fairly once more. You collected the ill-gotten gates of the pirate ship, the ship's wreckage, and as a small reward for your good deeds, you were sure that merchants would want you to have it. Plus 21 salvage, plus 16 supplies. Alright, leave combat. Let's get on out of here.